is Suma Rauji of Cakes and More bringing to you a really good dose of some coffee and cookies this Monday morning. There's loads of toasted nuts and lots of coffee in this cookies called as Cafe Volcano Cookies and this recipe is from Dori Greenspan. And since we are going to be practicing how to separate egg whites, I think it's a perfect time for us to be making this really good cookies. There are hardly any ingredients you will need for uh, these cookies. Uh, you will need some toasted uh, nuts. You could use either cashew nuts or pecans or walnuts or even almonds will be great. And I discovered that cashew nuts and coffee also go really well together. So today I'm going to be making these with some uh, toasted cashew nuts. And uh, we have some sugar here and there's some instant coffee actually there's quite a bit of coffee considering the amount of egg whites we have here this is really little this is half an egg white and uh, we have some vanilla extract of course there's actually quite a bit of coffee in here and uh, there's also a lot of sugar but uh, this amount of coffee in these cookies helps to cut down on the sweetness and gives a really good flavor, a really rich flavor to these uh, cookies. In this recipe, since we are not going to be whipping the egg whites, uh, you don't really need to be paranoid while you're separating the eggs. And if you had separated the eggs when they were cold, then you could uh, just swirl this in some uh, warm water so that uh, the whites come to room temperature quickly and uh, but be careful not to get any water into the whites or you could also just leave the whites on the counter till it's no longer cold and yes there's no butter no oil or not even flour in these cookies we have this uh, tray here which i have lined with some baking parchment and i have preheated my oven to 180 degrees centigrade so now we are going to be taking all these ingredients in this saucepan everything including the egg white and now we are going to be mixing all of these uh, ingredients with a spatula and uh, now that we have mixed all the ingredients we are now going to be heating this and uh, put it on low heat this is really important Keep stirring this constantly uh, till the mixture feels slightly warm to the touch and uh, you do not want to uh, boil this or uh, want this to get too hot. This will take hardly about uh, 30 seconds to a minute. Yeah, that's it. And now we take this off the heat and then uh, drop the batter on this uh, cookie sheet. This is our cookie batter and uh, this looks just like some um, nuts held together by the egg whites and we are going to be dropping this on the sheet and do not forget to space them apart because they are going to be puffing up in the oven and now this goes into the oven for about 15 to 16 minutes and the baking time would depend on your oven uh, give or take a few minutes so do try a test batch and then note down the baking time and then make the rest of the cookies accordingly The cookies are done when they look uh, shiny and uh, they also uh, look cratered and uh, quite bumpy. And now we take the cookies out of the oven. And now the cookies are cooling on the rack and uh, let them be there for a couple of minutes and then you could uh, gently peel the cookies away from the parchment. And once the cookies cool, you just need to gently peel the cookies away. Uh, to do that, you just hold the uh, cookie and peel the parchment away from it rather than the other way around. And please do remember that the baking time may vary, uh, give or take a couple of minutes. And uh, if in doubt, you could always bake them for lesser time and then put them back into the oven for a couple of minutes so that they can bake fully. You can store these cookies airtight for a couple of days, but uh, do not keep them in the fridge as the meringue tends to become sticky in the fridge. These cookies will be light and when you bite into them, the meringue will dissolve on your tongue, leaving behind just the nuts and the flavor of coffee on your tongue. So that's it for today. Please do stay tuned. There's more coming up.